up? My name is Magdalene Jenny. Welcome to the Familia. If you are new, I am so excited because Laura Mercier released this setting powder. Oh my God, I can't speak. It's a translucent setting powder. So if you're thinking, Magdalene, you look very ghostly, it's because I just... I just put my foundation on. I'm using this Derma Blend CC Cream. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but it does oxidize and warm up to the skin very nicely. I added it with my favorite Smashbox blurring brush. I just stippled it on so you guys can see. I color corrected with my NARS color corrector in the shade light because my under eyes are dark and I just feel like Everything looks so much smoother. The under eyes just look a lot brighter when you color correct. It is an additional step, but I feel like it's a step that it's definitely needed. And then I use my concealer, the Lancome Tint Idole Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. It's a new concealer. I've been really, really liking it. So I just went over top. I blended it out with my sponge and then I just sweeped it away with this brush. I got that idea from makeup artist Luis Torres and it's a game changer. Now we're ready, set, ready to go. And look at this, even the box is nice. Like what the heck? I got mine at Ulta. It was only available online, but it may be in stores at this point. It took a little while. Now been out for like a week, but I got mine in the mail. So this is how the packaging looks. Wow, this is beautiful. It's huge too. It's like the other one. I do have the shade Honey Star. Packaging looks very similar from her original packaging, but this is how, this is the mini one. It looks exactly the same. The only thing, the cap is different. Okay, it has the little sticker here. Does it smell like anything? No. It's a, it's a little bit on the darker side. Like I've told you guys before, but if you're new, welcome, welcome. For me, a setting powder is good when it works for the lid, for the under eyes, and for the face. I completely forgot I just set my lids. Dang it. It doesn't work for the under eyes. That's a good indication it may not work for the lid. A lot of times I feel like setting powders work well on the skin because that's usually what they're made for, but we also need to set the under eyes. And if they claim it's like an all over setting powder, then you know, it's an all over setting powder. Now that we've had our cream products on, so I'm gonna get my powder puff. These I get from Amazon and this is how the powder looks. It's a very finely milled powder. When I mean finely milled, you want it to look like baby powder. That finely milled, or even like flour, like baking flour, it ha it should look like that because if it's not that fine, it most likely won't go smooth on your skin. So we're gonna just, oh wow, ooh, this is shimmery, you see that? It says it's a setting powder, not like a finishing powder. Yeah, shimmer does not go well with under eyes at all. Girl, I'm about to be looking like a glazed donut up in here. Okay, you see, oh, look at this. I always do this because I even the product out on the hand. Okay, let's see. Oh my God. Oh, this is shimmer. Very late, shimmery. You see that? It kind of reminds me of the Tatcha powder, but this is like a lot shimmer, shimmier, shimmer. So I'm using my sponge because it's, mm, Look, you see, it's a nice shine, but this is probably nice for you to set the high points of your face, not your entire face. But it literally says, let me read the description, translucent loose setting powder. It's a 12 hour pore blurring, smoothing, and no flashback. And it pretty much helps your foundation last all day. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm legit speechless. I did not realize that it was gonna be this shimmery. Oh. Okay, I'm like, I don't know what to say. I'm just setting the face and what I'm doing is just like tapping the powder in so it locks all the cream powders. So I like the shade going on the skin. It shears out and because it has that shimmer, it will give you a glow to your skin. And you see how it darkened it up a little bit, which I needed it. Why I used this one, because I knew it was lighter. I knew from the pictures on Laura Mercier's Instagram, they looked a little darker. I want to use this product and show you guys how it works on the under eyes, at least one under eye, because if it looks a hot mess, then I'm not going to use it for the second under eyes. I'm going to mix a, another setting powder I have, like whichever one you have, get a little bit, and then I'm going to get a little bit of, but I don't want to mix it in there. Oh, well, we're going to mix it in the hand. Okay. We're going to get some of the new Laura Mercier. We don't need a lot. Some RCMA. It's just any setting powder. You want to mix them to give you like a good little 
concoction. It's going to remove some of the shimmer that we have. So let me just get a new powder puff. Very little. Even it out somewhere else. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Wish me luck. Okay. So let me get rid of these creases like you guys saw me do. I look like very Tin Man-esque. Tin Woman-esque. Okay, I'm looking up and just setting this down. I can definitely see the shimmer underneath on the under eye area. And I'm looking up and tapping the powder in, making sure we're locking it in. Yeah, it's too shimmery, so what I'm just gonna do is go in with... Wow. <laughs> just going with that. Oh no! Okay, even that out. You know, shit happens, it's okay. All right, now we're gonna get rid of the, the creases on the other eye. This is usually how I set my under eyes. I like to go with to set my under eyes with setting powders, never really any sort of shimmer powders, finishing powders. I like an actual setting powder to set the under eyes and the face, and then I can go over a finishing powder. The difference of finishing and setting is setting will set your makeup it kind of it does like the hard job it's gonna make the makeup last and a finishing powder is just to finish up your face it usually has like a little tint or a little sheen to it so it gives you a nice finished look it's not really like something that can set i mean it can it all really depends i mean everything's objective you know let me get a clean brush and let's just kind of remove we're gonna go to the window i want to show you guys how the skin looks and if you notice my brows are different but it's because you guys know i love to give you options the skin looks nice Here, let me turn the light off you see that sheen we have going on this is literally how it looks in person it can accentuate a little bit of texture anything shimmer will do that i broke out here a little bit it can accentuate that do you see what i'm saying but it set it and you see like my under eyes they, they don't have that shimmer in it Lighting is everything. Lighting can really, you see like how I turn these lights on? You don't see all the texture as opposed to when the t lights are turned off. I do have texture on my skin. So my first impression, I'm expecting a setting powder. I also know that it does have the pearls and that shimmer in it. So I immediately knew it wouldn't set my under eyes well. So I don't know, this is a lot. I may have put too much. This is a type of product you'll just have to use with a brush because the brush doesn't pick up as much product as a powder puff or a sponge. So keep that in mind. Let me just even this out a little bit. So this is something you use very lightly, which means you're gonna have this like for five years. It's something that you can just get a brush, dip in here, and then do this whole motion. And just, it'll give you that look. It's not to set, I mean, maybe it's it will set the face and we'll see how it lasts because it says it blurs the pores and everything. And honestly, my the skin does look blurred, but shiny and shimmery. It is 11.30. I'm just gonna put the rest of my face on. I'm gonna speed it up so you guys can see the products I use. And then we'll see how everything like sits on it, you know? back put my full face and everything all i did was bronzer blush you guys saw i did use fixing spray and then i finished with a setting spray so we can lock it down so let's look at the skin what do you think now that we've had the product in for about 20 minutes i find that it is warming up to the skin very nicely the skin has a nice glow because it does have those pearls in them those like pearl minerals in the powder in which it's gonna it's just gonna give you this sheen and this glow the only thing is if you have oily skin let's see how that works because are we gonna look gastadas or are we just gonna look radiant and have the glow at the end of the day 
We don't know. And also, I just wouldn't recommend using a powder puff, maybe a sponge, but I think the best way, like I told you guys, where's my brush? Is just to kind of set the high points, maybe the center of your nose, like the top. I don't think right now it's a full on setting powder that is gonna make your makeup last because it's just that shiny. But who knows, Laura Mercier is very innovative when it comes to setting powder. So maybe it, it truly is a setting powder that will make your pores appear smaller, have your makeup and foundation last all day, like it says, 12 hours. I do like that you can't really see a lot of texture with this type of product. Usually shimmer is just going to give you texture, just, that's just how it is. Shine will emphasize things on the face, the body and stuff. Let's actually take a picture and see if we have flashback. I doubt it, but let's see. No lie, I had to turn the, the lights off, but the skin looks nice. Oh, let me show you guys how the skin looks without the lights turned on. It looks slightly better, huh? Since we've had the, the powder on a little bit. It's warmed up, you know? The skin looks good. I like how it made my skin look like my neck and matched my arms. I definitely think it's a brown girl friendly. Looking at the picture, it's like my face never matches my body exactly, especially when we use a light foundation, you know? So I really, really like that. Of course, this does have a medium tone tint, so it is helpful for people of my complexion and deeper. It won't give you that white flashbacky look, which I hate, but you know, a lot of times that's what we have and we've gotten used to it. So I can appreciate a product that doesn't make us look like we have that white cast and we just have to wait for our skin to warm up. But I, I'm lukewarm about this product. That's really after all that, I think, I don't know yet. I don't know how I feel about it, but let's jump in front of the window so you guys can see how it looks in daylight. And I'll just see you in the next check-in, bye. All right guys, I'm in front of the window. I just wanna show you guys how the skin looks and look, what do you think? You see that shine, that glow? The skin looks good. It's, I don't know, I'm just not used to like glowy shimmer-esque shimmer pearls on my skin because i'm always like okay i have oily skin how's it gonna look but we're gonna be positive and see how it works out another thing i forgot to mention is that the bronzer and blush just glided on so smoothly on the skin that was another thing i wasn't sure how it was gonna be you know but not bad not bad at all ah. hey guys i'm back so it is 10 30 in the evening the day flew by but i actually want to show you guys here in the car how my skin was looking at around six o'clock and at this point it was looking nice it had the radiant glow it looked pretty put together for the amount of time we've had the setting powder considering that this is a very luminous finishing powder not really a setting powder here we are now about 12 hours later and look at the skin we have a nice glow. Like we've had this glow all day long and I don't feel like we look gastada. I feel like we look put together. We're just very, very glowy. We are a little bit on the oily side, but we're always gonna be oily. I did use a natural foundation. It's not very matte and it's not very lightweight. It has like the in-between and it does give a glow. The one thing I did notice is the mouth area. It's completely gone. You see right here and it's like you can kind of see the separation from the mouth and like this area here from the face so that's what i don't like and another thing is my pores look humongous here let me turn the lights off like we did you see how they look with the powder it just accentuated all the pores and lines that my face naturally has which is fine but usually setting powders are so finely milled they don't do that or they shouldn't do that for that reason I just don't think this is what the description says. This is not really a setting powder. It's more of a finishing powder. And I think the best way to apply it would be with the brush and just hitting it to your top points, not really pressing it in like we did today. But again, with setting powders, I press it in because I want to lock my foundation in so it doesn't move and my mouth area is not gone, you know, throughout the day. So do I like the powder? Yes, I think it gives you a very natural radiant glow if you use it correctly and you just place it on your highlighted areas. If you have oily skin like me, I don't think it works out, especially for the T-zone because you guys saw all that texture that is accentuating. I was looking right now and I'm like, damn, like my pores look huge. I mean, I have big pores, but 
they rarely look like this when I'm using an actual finely milled setting powder that works well. Would I buy this again? No, not for the purpose it's marketed. It is supposed to be a setting powder that makes your foundation last all day. I don't think it did because we're 12 hours in and yeah, this is gone and I have major pores. Maybe if my pores didn't look as large and my, if you couldn't see my texture as much, maybe I would like it a little bit more. So I probably wouldn't buy it again, but I do like the natural, the natural, the natural radiance it gave the skin throughout the day. And I also like the shade. I love that it just perfectly matches my brown skin tone. We didn't have to wait a couple of hours for the skin to warm up. So I really, really like that. I think it is a quality product. I just wouldn't recommend to use it as a setting powder. I would recommend to use a regular setting powder and use this one in your highlighted areas. But yeah, guys, this is it. Let me know your thoughts on this. Have you used it? Have you seen it around? Have you seen any reviews? Let me know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support you guys always show me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the button right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!